Division 1A playoff action Tuesday night in Taunton as Barnstable look for revenge against the team that eliminated them last year, the Lincoln Sudbury Warriors. The Red Raiders getting a little help in the first quarter as the Warriors were forced to punt, but the snap sails over Chris Giorgio's head and out of the back of the end zone for a safety, getting Barnstable up 2-0. On the next drive for the Red Raiders, they put their foot on the gas as Hayden Murphy gets the handoff, breaks a couple of tackles and sprints his way into the end zone, extending the Barnstable lead to 8. Flash ahead to the second quarter after being given second life following an offsides call against the Warriors on fourth down. It's Murphy again sneaking and shifting his way into the red zone. And just a few plays later, he's rewarded sprinting his way from 13 yards out. Barnes will take a 14-0 lead at the half. After Lincoln Sudbury's drive stalled to open the second half, more offense from the Red Raiders as Nick Peabody hooks up with Tadar France on the screen pass to get Barnstable into Lincoln Sudbury territory. And that would lead to Murphy again from the 12, getting shoved out just before the end zone, setting up Peabody for a sneak for the touchdown on the very next play to go up 21 to nothing. As for the Warriors, not much doing offensively in this one. After a third Murphy TD made it 28 to nothing, Watch the hit put on Giorgio by Ryan Lichman. Warriors would get on the board later in the drive, but it would be much too late. Spartanville advances with the 28-7 win. With Everett's 42-14 win over Maskinom at the stage is set for a dream rematch between the two teams at Gillette on Saturday afternoon. For ESPN Boston High School's blog, I'm Greg Story.